Mounting the 4150 to the wall, basically there are a couple of things you should take into consideration. One, you want to make sure that you, you have at least 8 to 10 inches or 20 to 25 centimeters clearance above the instrument for calibration and routine maintenance. Two, the tibetometer should be mounted as close to the sample point as possible, no more than 6 to 10 feet or 2 to 3 meters. Right now, we replace a third-party tibetometer. We first cut off the feed line to the existing meter and remove it from the wall. You'll notice that the back of the Sigma tibetometer has a bolt pattern that matches a third-party competitive tibetometer. This bolt pattern makes it easy to retrofit or upgrade existing tibetometers in the field. Now that the 4150 is mounted to the wall, it is important to install the tibetometer as close to the sample point as possible to ensure a quick response to change in tibetity levels. Also, we recommend that a separate isolation valve be purchased and installed prior to the regulator. This will allow the operators to shut off the flow stream if there are any problems with the pressure regulator, measuring cell, or the tubes that connect the tibetometer to the sample point or drain. The 4150 tubing kit comes with a small connector kit that contains two ferrules and two threaded connectors. This is used to connect a 4.75 millimeter tube to the tibetometer. It is important that these components are installed properly. On the influence side, I am first going to install my threaded connector, and then I'm going to take my ferrule and install it into the ID of the 4.75 millimeter tube. The ferrule will ensure that the tube will not collapse and will assist in maintaining a good seal and prevent leakage. Very simply done. We now have the influent line connected to the pressure regulator. The discharge from the tibetometer usually goes straight to drain and is not recirculated back into the system. Using another 4.75 millimeter tube, I will first install my threaded connector onto the tube and then insert a ferrule into the ID of the tube. The tube will then be connected to the nipple assembly marked out. We are now ready to apply power to the 4150 and start water flow. Once we have water flow through the measuring cell, verify this by looking at the flow coming out of the drain tube. We will now need to adjust the flow rate to 0.026 to 0.26 gallons per minute or 100 milliliters a minute to 1 liter per minute. As you adjust the water flow through the measuring cell, you should pay attention to the bubbles that may accumulate on the inside of the glass cuvette. To remove the bubbles, you will need to slow down the flow rate through the measuring cell by adjusting the pinch valve. Excessive bubbles in the measuring cuvette can cause higher than expected NTU values. Once the bubbles are removed, again, clean off the cuvette using the appropriate cloth that is supplied with the calibration kit and place the cuvette back into the measuring cell.